Notice the position of the foot. If you've got good big toe extension, your lunge will look straight and aligned. Yeah, so I'm using full extension of the big toe. However, when the big toe extension, this motion here is lacking and there's not much control and it's very rigid, how are you supposed to do the lunge? You will end up pivoting, doing this sort of thing. And look what's happening, what's the blowback and what's the impact on the knee. You will create torsion in the knee, creating standard rotation in the knee, which potentially exposes knee meniscus uh, to injury or strain. And also it puts pressure on the this joint, first um, metatarsophalangeal joint, so called the joint of the big toe, right? Which is a, again the area of a lot of stress and a lot of uh, problems like hallux valgus, which is the bunion, right? Forming the big toe, deviating um, laterally, creating that sort of position. Common problem in many people, especially in females that I've seen. But also, uh, hallux uh, rigidus when there's osteoarthritis happening here. And let's not forget a lot of tendons uh, that go through this area, the sesamoid bones below the big toe. And also when let's think of general biomechanics, you wanna be able to splay the toe. So, you know, toe spacer are a good idea, especially if you're developing uh, hallux valgus and learning how to actually move your toes by the doing piano toes or even simply stretching, pulling big toe up. So you've got that flexibility, but also working on control, being able to lift toes off the floor.